Hey everybody, I'm Giles and this is JDM World. Today, we're gonna pit three different sets of bookshelf speakers against each other and see which one comes out on top. So we've got three different models from two different brands. We've got two Klipsch models. So we've got the RP600Ms and the R51Ms. And then from BMW, we've got the 686s S2s, so the S2 model. And uh, these are all small bookshelf speakers. Um, now they're slightly different. The Klipsch are both rear ported, whereas the BMW is front ported. And then the mid-range driver on each one is a different size. And as you'll see, that really impacts the performance of these speakers. So we're gonna look at the speakers themselves and talk just quickly about each one. We're not doing a full review of each of the speakers, but you need to know kind of what the guts are so that you know what's being compared. Then we're gonna do some listening tests and we're gonna talk about that a little bit. Mike and Mario have come over to help with the video too. Mike is uh, from and on audio of Instagram fame. And uh, Mario is gonna be our intrepid video cameraman as that he doesn't wanna be on this side of the camera, um, even though he's a super handsome gentleman. Uh, but uh, uh, Mike is gonna talk about his impression along with the speakers with me a bit too. And then we're gonna look at some REW measurements so that you can see exactly what's going on. And I'll also show you the uh, setup that we used in the room so you can kind of get an idea of what we're working with as we did those measurements. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Let's get started. Our field of competitors consists of three different sets of speakers, two from Klipsch and one from BMW. The Klipsch speakers include the RP600M, um, and those are $630 for the pair. And the speakers include six and a half inch uh, mid-range woofers and one inch titanium horn-loaded tweeters. Um, also from Klipsch are the R51Ms. These are $289 a pair, so these are our least expensive uh, entry in the field of competitors. Um, and they include a one inch aluminum horn-loaded tweeter along with uh, five and a quarter inch woofers. Now, from uh, BMW, the 686S2s are 549 a pair, and they have five inch woofers along with uh, dome aluminum tweeters. So no horns there for those guys. Also a distinguishing feature is that the Klipsch speakers are rear ported, whereas the Bowers are front ported. Now that gives you a general idea of what we're playing with from a speaker point of view. They're all pretty close, but you know, there's gosh, 380 or something uh, dollars on the price range, which is not insignificant um, because you could buy two sets of the R51s for the same price as the RP600s. Uh, now, from a testing point of view, uh, you can see the room here and how we've got this set up. So we've got uh, this set up in my theater and we're using a, a mini DSP U-Mic 1 uh, to do the recording for REW. And uh, there's, a, there's a nice close up of that for you there. And we're using Tidal to listen to assorted songs uh, for our listening test. Okay, so we've been comparing these three sets of speakers, the Klipsch RP600Ms, the Klipsch R51Ms, and the Bowers 686S2s. Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit about what we think about the sound. And uh, Mike here is uh, my super friend, Wonder Twin Powers Activate, form of stud, form of icicle. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, we've listened to the speakers and uh, we're going to give our point of view on them and oh, have a little man. bit of fun. Absolutely. So, so Mike, what do you think? Well, uh, I was pretty surprised because my speakers weren't uh, <laughs> up to par, I think. And, and it, Mike's are the R51s. Yeah. Um, I think they were all great in their own respect. I think that they all did a great job for mm -hmm. kind of where they're at. Uh, you know, fiscally, you know, how much you know you paid for them and kind of the size and stuff like that. I think they were all pretty well matched up. Um, and I think they all did great, but obviously some stood out in certain uh, departments and others, you know, and I think you could probably be better at explaining that. Sure. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the REW measurements here in a little bit. Um, but 
for me, um, when you think about the trouble response on the speakers, uh, the Bowers, I think, had the smoothest sound, followed closely by the RP600Ms, which sound great. I think they have a, maybe a better mid-range. Um, from a bass point of view, the 600Ms, they have a six and a half inch uh, woofer, and it just kind of kills uh, the others. Just, I think, you know, size matters, right? And uh, it carries a little bit more. And we'll see that in the REW uh, measurements as we get to that. Um, anything you want to add? Mike? Um, well, I was really, I've always been really impressed with the Bowers' uh, uh, tweeters. They're, they're high end. Oh, yeah. um, love it. And I think they have, I don't know, maybe I'm just hearing it differently than any, everybody else, but I think they have some amazing bass. Um, they're, they're a great all around speaker. Um, I think the R51Ms were, were good for what they are, but paired up against the 600Ms, I thought they were going to be a little more comparable, but I feel like the 600Ms just completely blew them away in, uh, in, in the lower end. I honestly thought the 51Ms didn't do too bad on the, the mid-range and highs. Uh, they were definitely loud, you know, definitely Eclipse is known for loud speakers, but um, I, I kind of liked the Bowers' all-around package, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Awesome. So uh, we'll get to the REW now and we'll take a look at that, but before we go, Everyone, check out your Instagram. Tell everybody who you are. And an audio, uh, A N O N audio at Instagram. Um, check it out, like it, follow it. I always post cool stuff, audio related, obviously. <laughs> um, Absolutely. And uh, definitely, thanks for having me on the on the show. JDM World's definitely a badass YouTube channel. So follow him, subscribe to him, and you know we'll see you soon. Right on. Before we get into the actual REW charts, let's talk a little bit about the chain of equipment that the signal's passing through. So the source for all of this is a Denon X4400H, and I'm using the Heos uh, Tidal player, and I control that with my iPhone. So that that's the source. So I don't have a, uh, you know, a, a $15,000 streamer, DAC, kind of combination uh, that we're using for this. This is something that's very accessible and extremely common. So if you've got a, a Denon that streams uh, via Heos, then you've got the exact same source that we're using to listen to here. From there, uh, the output is uh, in two channel mode. So this is stereo and I've got the two channel listening mode inside of the AVR set so that there's no subwoofer, meaning the left and right channels are large. So there's no crossover, um, no sub support, no, uh, no anything altering the sound. And then I've got the uh, pure direct uh, listening mode selected. We measured all of the speakers and we measured at the same time left and right channel in room so a lot of what you're going to see here is the room talking and not the speakers but this is going to show us a good relative comparison of what the speakers are doing in the room so let's start out um, and what we're looking at now is the r51 uh, m's from klipsch and uh you know you can you know if you look at the low end they they roll off pretty hard at uh, 46 hertz or so, and, and they dump down to the abyss after that and become pretty much unusable. Uh, now, let's compare to the 600Ms, and uh, 600Ms, uh, you know, looks from a sensitivity point of view about the same. So all, you know, we have the exact same positioning, the exact same volume settings, everything, everything's the same. Um, the toe in is uh, as identical as we could make it. Um, so really what you're seeing is the difference in the speakers inside of this room. Um, a lot more bass coming out of these. Now that, that would be obvious, meaning the, uh, the 600s, because they do have six and a half as opposed to the five and a quarters that are inside of the 51s. So, you know, you're looking at five, that's 10 decibels at 45 Hertz, um, on the, on the 600s. Now the, the roll off where they get down would be, you know, down here around 30. Three, I guess, is going to be 30. Yeah, about 33 hertz is where uh, they roll off, as opposed to the 45. Uh, so you know, that's uh, that's that's 33 to 45 hertz. That's a, uh, I guess, that's the difference of an inch of your driver. So that's that's what you get there. Um, now let's uh, let's keep the 600s up and add in the uh, 686 S2s. You can see the five inch driver in those guys has a lot less bass. I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty hardcore. Um, they are much more comparable 
Uh, well, there is, yeah. I mean, you you can see the the difference between you know the five, five and a quarter, and and the six. Uh, they they have the least impressive base response. Also, um, you know, it looks like they're a bit less sensitive. So let's turn off the fifty ones real quick, so we can see. And the the blue is the six hundred, and the green is the uh, the Bowers. And you can see that the 600s with exactly the same amplification. And so this is coming from a Stark Sound A7 Mark II. So uh, that's about 240 watts of class A uh, going into these speakers identically. Um, so we're, we're getting a lot more out of the, the RP600Ms. Now, does that matter? Ultimately, probably not. You'll put enough power through the speakers to get it to uh, whatever volume you're looking for, but uh, they, they are more sensitive. Um, and uh, they have a ton more bass with that extra uh, extra inch down at the bottom. Um, now let's compare the uh, Bowers to the R51s. And um, you can see that the R51s, especially up in this 4K to 8K range, are, are, are louder, more sensitive. I mean, through the whole curve, you're getting three, four more decibels out of them for the same amount of juice. So, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty consistent. And then roll off, yeah, roll off's about the same. So not, not anything crazy there. They're, they're very similar on bass response. There's just a quarter of an inch of difference um, in, the, uh, in the driver there, although you're looking at front ported on uh, the Bowers and rear ported on the Klipsch. I would say all in all, um, looking at the, the speakers, you know, the, the clear winner here for me uh, just with REW is going to be the RP600Ms. Um, not that it's a super beautiful uh, chart here. I mean, you, you're you're getting 10 decibel bounces all over the place. Now, a lot of the stuff in this 80 hertz range, this is this is all room um, inflicted. Um, and then I'm I'm guessing maybe up here between one and 2K, this might be a crossover uh, area where we're getting a little bit of oddness. Uh, but the, these are the winners for me. Now, uh, just for giggles, um, we can compare this to my reference speakers, which are uh, the ICH-5s from Stark Sound. And uh, that, you know, you see a big difference there. Now, the, the clips are more sensitive, um, uh, but of course, you know, the, uh, the ICH-5s have, you know, three eight-inch drivers and two four-inch drivers and a beryllium tweeter. And uh, they're much stronger on the low end um, and have a uh, generally a flatter response across the, the entire range. So just, just for giggles there. So hopefully that's given you some additional information about our three competing speakers. And if you're looking to buy one of these, hopefully it helps you make a decision. Now, after everything that's been said and everything that's been done, for my money, I'm gonna stick with RP600Ms. They sound great. Um, they're not the cheapest, they're actually the most expensive, but for the money, you get a really great sounding speaker that's strong across the spectrum. Uh, if you need a smaller speaker for uh, something other than music or even home theater, the, the other two options are great. You can put them on a desk, you can use them for computer speakers or for surrounds, but for mains and for two channel listening, if you had these three to choose from, for me, absolutely 600M every day of the week. Um, hopefully this has been a good video for you. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like and subscribe button below, leave a comment, ask some questions, and let us know if you've used these. And you know, there's a conspiracy theory going around that the piano black versions sound better than the other versions of the 600Ms. Let us know if you've heard anything about that. Also, we have a great giveaway going this month, so look for that in my video feed, and hopefully you can sign up and win something cool. Thanks for watching, everybody.